So here we are. You guys are probably wondering what I'm up to today. And no, we're not looking for deer shed antlers. We are at archery range. Yeah, I've never been here, so I'm just kind of looking it over before I get started. Yeah, we're breaking up the monotony of just ice fishing. We still got ice to fish, but we're just giving it a break for now. I did draw a early season turkey tag for Michigan, and my plan this year is to harvest one with my bow and arrow. So, it's a great time to start dusting the bow off, even though I just put it away not that long ago because deer season just kind of wrapped up. So yeah, I'm checking out this first target here. First target looks to be a uh, sheep. That's our first target there. Let me get everything set up and uh, we'll start taking some shots. So check in with you soon. About a 20 yard shot, give or take. I didn't mention this is a gun range too, which is pretty cool. They have up to a 200 yard rifle target, pistol targets. You can uh, shoot clay pigeons as well. Okay, pretty tight group. I feel like I might be hitting a little bit low. I think I was aiming right in here. So I might be a little bit low. I mean, obviously they got their bullseye here, but you know, your heart, you know, the animals are usually tucked right in there a little bit lower. This is your lung area. This is the heart tucked in there. Um, so I might be a little low. I'm gonna try another target and see if I got the same results. Okay, we're looking at very big turkey, about a 22 yard shot, according to my range finder, 22 yards. I think I am shooting a little bit low. I'm gonna shoot these five into it. See if I get the same results as last time.
tight group. Can't complain about that group right there. The uh, not exactly where I aim. I think it's a little bit low. Yeah, that was real low. Okay, so we've made the adjustment on our sight. I moved the sight down, basically by loosening this knob here that tightens everything up to go up and down. I just loosened it a little bit and then I cranked this one to move the whole bracket up and down. Tighten everything back up. So let's see where we're at now. And I'd like to talk about my setup, my archery setup. I am shooting the PSE Epix Bow Madness. I've had this bow for a few years, around 300 feet per second, could be just over. Uh, regardless, really nice setup, shooting the PSE sight that came with it. I've got a really nice drop away rest here. Um, that is also made by PSC. Pretty much everything is made by PSC on this bow. I got it set up at Bass Pro Shops uh, a couple years ago, but nice light bow. I do need to get it tuned. I mean, I'm also shooting the uh, blackout arrows. These are the MVX5s, 340 grain. I shoot 100 grain tips. A lot of people out there are going with these heavier setups and I've shot 100 grain tips my entire life bow hunting. I've never had an issue, you know, with penetration on an animal. So I'm not gonna change it up. I'm comfortable with the setup I got. I shoot three fletch, three fletch uh, arrows. Arrows are 340 grain. Uh, it's a really nice setup. People are having a great time out here firing off rifles, handguns. Uh, Ortonville Recreation Area uh, over here in Ortonville, Michigan. Really nice from what I can tell. It's my first time here, but there is quite a few people shooting guns today. Nice day for it. That's better. That's right center of the bird. Right where you want to be. Feeling good about it. That muscle memory, you know, if you don't practice archery that often, other than the fall, you get fatigued a little bit. You know, there's there's certain muscles you use that you're not used to using all the time. So muscle memory is important when it comes to archery. Bear target. Slightly quartering towards me. You gotta love the sound of freedom, right? Don't get no better than this. Guns are blazing. I'm shooting my bow. Love it. Never 
killed a bear before. a kneeling shot like this because this is another scenario that I could find myself in uh, turkey hunt in the spring. So that's definitely a lot better shot placement. Four out of the five is a guaranteed kill on this bird. 25 yards, kneeling shot, drawn back, launching arrow after arrow, so it wears you down pretty quick. It's nice when you have a partner to shoot with or a couple people because you can get a break in between shots. You know, you don't fatigue out so quick, but yeah, we'll take this. We'll get it tightened up. Like I say, it's just the spring. This is the first time I've shot in 2021, so we're gonna tighten this pattern up and hopefully get a bird on the ground this spring with our bow and arrow. Stick around. So I'm gonna do a little archery trick shot here. We may ruin an arrow or two, I'm not sure, but we're the only ones out here, so what the heck. That deer target is just over 70 yards. I believe it was 72 on the rangefinder. I'm gonna walk you down there and uh, we're gonna try to thread the needle through the woods and see if we can't land a couple in the deer. It's not a shot that we take while we're hunting, but just for fun, we're gonna give it a shot. Here we are, here's our target. And I am, I don't even know if you can see it. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be standing way back in there. So you can get a better look from over here. Down this trail, curves up to the left there and then up the hill. I'm gonna be standing there, I'm gonna try to thread the needle through all these trees, so let's give her a shot. That deer target is right between them trees. You can see the body of it right there. Just over 70 yards. Ooh, that's a bad one. Takes a second for it to get down there. You can really, you know, shooting from this distance, you can really see it drop as it gets down there further. Only one miss so far. Man, she really drops. Like, I mean, once it gets down there, past about maybe 40 yards, that arrow really starts falling off. Let's go take a look, see what we did. I'm sure it's ugly. So in all actuality, 70 yard shot, that ain't bad. I mean, it's not a shot I would take out hunting, but I mean, I did kill him twice here. But if you look down here, we definitely missed once, grazed the belly. Okay, so that's gonna pretty much wrap this episode up. I'd like to thank everybody for watching my videos. If you're liking the content we're putting out and you're new to the channel and not yet subscribed, Please feel free to hit the subscribe button down below. We'd really appreciate it. We appreciate our audience as always. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, we engage with the viewers as well. We really enjoy doing that. And uh, if you have any suggestions for future videos for us, we'd appreciate that too. We're always looking for new stuff to do. With that being said, I'd like to thank you for watching this episode of the Outdoor Conquest. We hope you stick around and we'll see you on the next episode.